Yes, I believe fruitcake is the divine truth, our answer to the world, our existence, and life as we know it. Many people do not realize what fruitcake signifies that is so reflective of today's society and the way we live. Few appreciate this hidden gem of culinary mastery. Its flawlessness goes underappreciated and unloved, except by the few who have had their eyes and taste buds open to this magical piece of the holiday season. My love for fruitcake started with my grandmother, who would make her fruitcake every year. I will say that hers are the best ever. Granted, there are some brands out there with good fruitcakes, Shirley Jean, Hostess, but none come close in comparison to my grandmother. How she made hers will forever remain a mystery to me. Its secrets are heavily guarded to this day. The way she was able to expertly combine all of the ingredients of a fruitcake recipe into this beautiful work of culinary perfection is a wonder itself. The one fruitcake she made was not enough to satisfy my lust for this deity of the bakery. One was not enough to satisfy the craving that held me like a heroin junkie waiting for his next fix. I needed more, so more is what I got. For the past two years, I went to Big Lots for their after-Christmas sale and bought as much fruitcake as I could afford at their reduced after-Christmas sale prices, stocking up my closet with enough fruitcake to hold me over until next Christmas. Last year, I bought 23 fruitcakes. Sure, they sufficed, but they could never satisfy my need for the god of all fruitcakes, my grandmother's. Fruitcake explains to us that we need to pay close attention to the randomness of the world. Life is a long list of random events, which we experience with every bite, we need to experience this randomness, because in the end we will actually enjoy it. You take a bite of the cake, and sometimes you get a date and all of your love life problems are solved. Or sometimes you get an orange rind and you feel down in the dumps. Or even sometimes you find a candied cherry, and those are the times that you cherish the shining jewel in this pile of shit that is the boring cake that surrounds it. The world needs its candied cherries and citrus rinds mixed in with the cake part. If you go on non-stop eating plain white, chocolate, or red velvet cake, you will soon learn that you get bored very quickly. Now another point about fruitcake I would like to make is that it has been abused. It has been through racism, beatings, and riots. People have created stereotypes about it, how it is nasty, how it has so many preservatives that it can make it last forever, surviving a nuclear holocaust like a Twinkie, how it can be used as a doorstop, the list goes on and on. What many refuse to realize is it's actually a good thing. It's sweet and cuddly. It means it's no harm. It's just chock full of love and nuts. What fruitcake does is that it is a small thing. A small act of kindness that family gives to you. A grandmother's gift to her grandson. It is the smallest act that usually goes unnoticed and unappreciated. Cherish the small things, no matter how small they may be. The intention of it is greater than you can possibly imagine. It will prove its worth to you over time. The one small candied cherry you find within the whole cake? Cherish it. Cherish the small little happy moment. You never know when it will be gone, when it will disappear from your grasp, leave your body's digestive system, and go away. You may not appreciate it now, but you will wish you did when it's gone. No one notices how much they love something until it's gone. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a fruitcake with my name on it in the closet. 